On today's episode of The Story Detective, I've reached a thousand subscribers. I've watched this countdown, the final countdown, to reach this milestone go on for about a week. It kept going up and going down with the numbers like YouTube does every time you reach some kind of major milestone, and even some of the not-so-major ones. Thanks, guys. This is something that I don't think a lot of us expect coming into AuthorTube or YouTube in general because of all the difficulties they've made. We have no idea starting a channel whether we're going to succeed. A lot of people don't. I think our channels succeed with any kind of longevity for two basic reasons. Number one, we're stubborn enough to stick with it or we actually like what we're doing and stick with it and because of the community. So I want to thank everyone who subscribed, everyone who's liked and commented on any of my videos because all of you are the reason I'm here. You don't just grow a channel by yourself. It takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of people and a lot of hours. And when that all comes together, it took me nearly two years to see that, but I am both grateful and honored that the community has watched my videos this long for this many hours. <laughs> when I started, I barely had a few views. It took a long time. So if you're just starting your channel or you want to, don't give up and do it because you enjoy doing it. If you enjoy doing it, you're not really here to make subscribers or to monetize. You have to monetize once you hit the 4,000 hours and get 1,000 subs now. YouTube requires that. But in order to make money, you would need a huge platform. And that could take years and years and years. Doing it for the money is never a good reason to do anything creative. So coming into this, looking at it as a creative platform and also looking at doing the videos as a different storytelling medium i've learned a lot from that i've learned about editing i've learned about filming stories from a different perspective as an artist drawing pictures in comic books is a form of storytelling and it has almost almost a parallel to writing in terms of the rules and the things that are done. It's a different medium and certain things like the tools change a great deal. And here again, the tools change. It's a camera and nobody, well, maybe some people, but most of us aren't used to sitting in front of a camera and being the spotlight of our own creation and babbling into a camera and hope that somebody watches it. But you guys did. And again, thank you. I also want to say thank you to everyone who's participated in the Wordstock videos so far, because that couldn't have been a success without everybody coming together and doing those videos that we've done. It's been a lot of fun putting them together, and it's been a huge amount of fun watching everyone's videos and the different takes on the subjects. It has been something that gets us through this time that we're all going through and it's also something that has brought the community together in ways that it really hasn't been before we're still growing as a community every day new people are coming in there's people on the outside that are considering coming in and they're edgy about it you look at youtube that doesn't really give us any indication of whose channel is where, who's coming in, who's been here for a while. Some channels have been shuffled off for a long time. Other channels are just getting started with a few videos. But we have managed to bring all that together from people who've been here for a while, to professionals, to beginners, to those people who are just starting out. And there are no wrong answers. And I think that's what a community does. I have long 
wanted to find a community where people on every level could speak and not be afraid that somebody's going to scoff at them or think their ideas are bad. Often, a fresh pair of eyes can see things or come at it in a different way that inspires something in somebody else to see it with a fresh eye. And that's how we learn and that's how we grow. And we don't do that alone either. We do it together. And whether we realize it or not, we're all dependent on one another. We're dependent on everyone whose books we've read, the movies we've watched. We're all riding on someone else's coattails who inspired us to do this in the first place. So to see this happening in our community has been part of something I've wanted to see in a community for a long time, and I haven't. So thank you all for making that happen and for making it possible. As a part of the thank you for reaching a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. You can leave your questions in the comment section below. I'm also going to leave posts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all of my other accounts, and you can leave questions there if you so choose. If you have Facebook and you have me on your messenger, you can send me questions. Anyway, you can leave questions on all the places. You can ask as many questions as you like. I mean, as long as it doesn't take me three days to sit here and answer them all, I'll be glad to answer whatever questions you guys have. That's what I've got for you guys today. So until next time, keep those keyboards clacking because we are only just getting started here today. Today, YouTube. Tomorrow, maybe the world. <laughs> or our own little piece of it. I'd be fine with that. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you later.